Thank you so much. Can we all welcome up Michaela McKay from Sunrise College? My name is Michaela McKay. I'm an organizer with Sunrise Providence, and I'm deeply afraid for my future. Allowing the Supreme Court seat left vacant by the late Justice Ginsburg to be wrongfully filled at this moment would not only be foolish, it would also be deadly. Here in Rhode Island, we are already seeing the effects of the climate crisis. Rhode Island is one of the fastest warming states in the country. We have the ninth highest asthma rate. And of the companies in Providence, the EPA considers to be polluters all 11 exist in the same zip code. Last year, residents in this area, Washington Park and Southside, organized when a waste demolition facility that would have operated 24 hours a day and polluted their air was proposed for Allen's Ave. For over a month, people in Providence stood up against corporate power. They went to town hall meetings, they canvassed, they rallied together to stop this demolition facility from being built and yet another polluter to enter their neighborhood. And they won. The Rhode Islanders should not have to fight against corporate greed for their right to a livable future. That's right. And Rhode Island is not alone. Across the country, communities are fe being affected by the climate crisis every day. We need legislation like the Green New Deal to be enforced and upheld by our highest court before it is too late. California burns almost year round and has seen a 60% increase in wildfire damage since 2008. Because of warming temperatures, hurricanes are more frequent and more powerful. We've had so many this year, the National Hurricane Center almost ran out of names. In Idaho, a predicted 110% increase in droughts will directly impact food supply and agriculture that local communities depend on. All of this disproportionately affects frontline communities who have less money, resources, and political agency to tackle these issues. In 2016, prominent members of the GOP spoke out against filling this influential seat during an election year. Senator Ted Cruz said, it has been 80 years since the Supreme Court vacancy was nominated and confirmed in an election year. There is a long-standing tradition that you don't do this in an election year. Senator Lindsey Graham said, I strongly support the American people, giving the American people a voice in choosing the next Supreme Court nominee by electing a new president. I hope all Americans understand how important their vote is when it comes to picking a new Supreme Court justice. He added, if there's a Republican president and a vacancy occurs in the last year, you can say, Lindsey Graham said, let's let the next president, whoever that may be, choose the next Supreme Court justice and you could use my words against me, and you'd be absolutely right. I think it's time we listen to Senator Graham. To fill this seat right now would be to take away people's choice this November. And as ten Senator Cruz pointed out, it's also deeply hypocritical. The serious nature of this position is not one to be taken lightly. An appointment right now would direct climate change for a lifetime allowing us to continue to ignore the very reality of this crisis and allowing corporations to continue to destroy our planet, our communities, and our lives. How can we claim to care about our children when we dismiss direct threats to their future? We need climate trust justice to be at the forefront of every elected and appointed representative's mind if we are ever going to adequately build a better future and tackle this crisis. Senator Whitehouse and Senator Reid, that is why we are here today to illustrate to you how you can stop the Supreme Court seat from being stolen and stand with your constituents. You have the power to save our future. So I ask you, will you answer our calls to action? Woo! 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 Woo!